We are back with a hilarious actor and comedian who has cracked us up for decades. Ah, uh, yes. For seven years, Rachel Dratch was a, a standout at Saturday Night Live, creating some iconic characters, none probably more famous than Debbie Downer. <laughs> but before SNL, Rachel cut her funny teeth in Chicago, studying at the epic Second City Improv Theater, which is celebrating its 65th anniversary this year. Well, now they are opening opening their first ever New York City location. Rachel, welcome. It's Thank you. Good morning. Hi. It's Hi. genius. You know, it, it, it seems amazing to me that Second City, this is the first time they're opening within the five boroughs of New York. Yeah, yeah so, I know. It's exciting. Yeah. How's that going to impact, you think, the, the improv landscape? Well, I mean, Second City is so near and dear to my heart. I started out there in Chicago with many other famous, now famous, famous people that you know and it's a combination of sketch and improv it's sort of a great training ground for SNL and so they have shows and classes and uh, now they're bringing it to New York so it's opening uh, Monday February 12th yeah, oh my gosh oh yeah okay, that's me that's me uh, I was like, who's that um, no but so they're opening uh, Monday February 12th and um, it's a, a show of sketch and then there's a third act that same as in Chicago with the, which is just improv yeah. and that's free and um, that was always a super fun part of the I show bet. yeah I mean you mentioned some of the other folks in Chicago let's name them we're talking about Tina Fey we're talking about Stephen Colbert we're talking about Tim Meadows just to name a few what is it about that community that just that keeps you going back oh my gosh i mean i felt like i was there in this golden age but maybe everyone feels like mm -hmm. that but um you know when you're in the touring company you're watching these people that are just ahead of you like colbert and steve carell and amy sitters and then there's people behind you that are then they've made it to it it's just this super fun like we're living the dream and we're just in front of an audience every night and improvise you get better and better the more you improvise so you're just working with the funniest people. That's why ever. I can't wait to go to this one here where it's closer to us because you know you're watching. First of all, they're all talented, but you just never know where these folks are, are going. You never know where they're going, and you never know where that night's going to go, which yes. is super fun because the audience is part of the show. That. Almost like I a lot that. of these sketches are developed through just an audience suggestion. It's yeah. so they, fun. Then they, they hit, yeah. and then they're in the show for the next show. I love that's, that. That's, that's how improv. Yeah. yeah. So you're a busy woman. You also have a podcast. So I was looking at this. It's called Woo Woo with Rachel Drash. You go, <laughs> Woo Woo, like... Do you make a well, sound it's, with it? No, it's or like it's like woo woo. Like it's like oh, it's like, oh this is a don't don't think I'm all woo woo. But here's, here's my the, ghost here's story. The content. Yes. Uh, it's like ghost psychics, weird things that have. So, uh, over the years, I've heard like some weird oh, so stories. Like, woo woo. Yeah, it's like woo woo. woo, -woo. What, woo. Yeah, and uh, so over the years, I've heard some crazy stories just from friends. Yeah, we all have heard these stories, yeah. and I was like, this would be a fun thing to talk about. So I've got comedians come on and tell their either ghost stories or their non-belief, or it's not all ghosts. It's like psychic weird. Yeah, I mean, I've had some, zany, some weird psychic things happen to so, me. So you have yeah. a, a look on your face. No, a puzzle okay. look. well, I was I, no. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what's, like, what's the weirdest thing you've heard on the show so far? Oh my gosh, there's like a crazy time travel story. There's an astral projection story that I love. That's um, astral from projection. A, yes, astro, it's you know, you know, when you leave your body and go to somewhere else. Oh, um, that happens but, to Craig during the show. I know. <laughs> Every day, it's usually at least twice. So, no. It's a lot of fun, though. I'm not, like, a complete, you know, believer, but it's just fun to talk ask, about. Do you believe in this stuff? I mean, I'm not, I don't want to be, like, you know, the, the crazy lady with crystals. So that's yeah. not really who I am. But it's fun to just sort of explore. Let's okay. put it that way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Zane you, all, curious. you all look like I've just dropped several. No, no. In your we're routine. so fascinated yeah. by the concept. Check it out. It. It's funny. Like, I mean, Amy Poehler's on. She doesn't believe in any of this stuff, but she has some fun. She has some she ha But she has fun stories. Like, it's just fun because I have fun friends on chatting yeah. about this. Fun yeah. Friends. I want to talk about this project that, that I just heard about. So you're you're in a new animated show. Yes. It's called Grimsburg. Yes. And I want to make sure I get this Very right. Very funny. You voice John Ham's young son. Yes. How, uh, how, how do you channel a pre <laughs> oh, pre-vescent? Boy. Well, Next you know, I mean, a lot of ladies boy, play yeah. little guys, I guess. Lisa, <laughs> Sim Lisa I mean, Simpson. Lisa Simpson. Simpson. Bart Simpson. No, Simpson. but um, I don't know. It's just it's really fun to do a voiceover because you know the the way that you are as a person physically has nothing to do with this yeah. voice you're going to create. So you can kind of be anything in the voiceover world. So this kid, uh, he's a little bit um off, I guess. <laughs> he has some issues because his his dad, John Hamm, is kind of like this ne'er do well and so he's always just trying to get his dad's attention oh. it's it's fun yeah who's making you laugh these days oh well you've thrown me a curveball yeah that's a good question um mm. al roker is making <laughs> he makes me laugh every, every day that's a good every question day. though it is every day. it is a good question oh my gosh um i mean ah uh, i'm ch look i'm supposed to be an improviser and I'm <laughs> you know what the living will say this I have the most funny friends, so okay. like I 
you're just you're had, surrounded. Like, life friends. Yeah. What about your son? Does your son make you laugh? Oh, my son is very funny. Yeah. Okay. He does make me laugh. Yeah, all right. He, as a matter of fact, he's, I mean, he's fun. Like, a kid, do you understand? Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going on and on. So, are no. you gonna, will, will okay. you let him go into comedy? Um, I, yeah, I would, yeah. I think Ooh. I think he's got the stuff, but he's not particularly interested in it at this not point. Not yet. Yeah. yeah, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, it's always great to see you, Rich. Thank you so Rich. much. Come back. Come okay, back. Right. Sure. And don't forget, Second City opening its New York City doors in Brooklyn next Monday, February 12th. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.